Ultra Rich Asian Girls um, is a 13 episode show that talks about the new demographic that's now living in Vancouver through the stories of uh, four different girls. They have, they live the, the fancy lifestyles, but at the same time we want to tell more than that. Um, we want to tell uh, trying to break stereotypes as well too. So it's beyond the glitz and the glamour. It's about um, the personal stories of these individual girls now living in Vancouver. The, rea the reaction has been across the map from people that really hate the flaunting of the wealth to some people that actually love the show and love the characters. It's, it's, right, it's right across. Fair enough because it's a very provocative title. It's something that people are very, very interested in these days. Uh, it's a very hot topic, especially in our economy in Vancouver and in Canada. And, uh, and, and rightly so, so everything spans the map of, uh, of comments. There's a lot of negative stereotypes towards this demographic, um, you know, to being uncouth or cannot assimilate into society um, and doesn't want to, or you know, this rich demographic of, you know, not working and not being ambitious, just living off their parents. And I found, easily found, four independent girls who are starting their lives, they're starting their own businesses, they've worked jobs uh, when they were 14, 15 years old, and they've held jobs ever since then, and now they're starting their own business. And their parents happen to be wealthy. There's an absolute serious side to my program, and my background is from news and from documentaries, and I love uh, Chinese Canadian history and Chinese and Asian Canadian um, you know, politics as well too. So what I try to incorporate a little bit hidden into, into these segments is uh, segments of, um, you know, how did the Chinese first come to Canada, the pioneers of uh, Chinese Canadians that first laid the road. And these are subtle messages that are being talked about within the show. Everybody's an individual, and especially in Canada. Um, people already assume that with an ultra-rich Asian title, you're going to be like this, or you're going to be like that. And what I'm showing is that there's a different side to everybody, and everybody is an individual and uh, this is what we live for in Canada.